Welcome to Our Connection. My name is Nick Croft. First, this is our 10th episode. I want to thank all of you for your support, your comments, your feedback, and your ideas. Keep it coming. This is a great platform, and I'm glad that you're getting something positive out of it and getting to know more about our company. So what we're going to talk about is a service that we just recently presented in Tokyo at the Global Analyst Conference. It was also featured at Loyola University in the Baltimore News this week. We're talking about advanced mail solutions. We took a trip to Lehigh University to actually see how this works and what we're offering our customers now. Let's go. We're at Lehigh University, so we're going to head into our advanced solutions offering and we'll show you what we do. When you hear we put uh, over 6,000 boxes into a 10 by 12 spec, taking a concept of these vertical file folders that are used, um, like uh, Google uses that for their mail center, and putting it together with the, high, the, the movable racking to create a really high density solution. Yeah. So this is a Motorola RS-507. Mm -hmm. uh, connects to the computer via Bluetooth through that dongle. Um, so whenever we place a piece of mail in the student mailbox, we simply scan the barcode the barcode represents the box number, so we scan the barcode uh, and then the student gets an email telling them that mail's been received. For so them. you're not worrying about what the contents are? Right. We're not you're trying just... to make U.S. mail be trackable. That's not, that's not what we're trying to do. We're just trying to simply notify the student that mail's been received for them. The reason that this works is they don't get a lot of mail anymore. Uh, in most universities, less than 1% of their mail is for students. So in this case, Lehigh had 8,000 square feet of boxes taken up for 500 pieces of mail a day. Wow. We've got a huge footprint for 500 pieces And this of mail. is 2,000 square feet? This is about 2,000 square feet total. And that's why it's getting a lot of traction with other universities because everybody's pressed for, for space. So at Davenport University, at Furman University, at SMU, uh, and we're in the process of implementing Loyola and, uh, and Emory from High Density Mail. When we go with the high density mail, the last thing we want to do is put a bunch of flyers into the mailboxes. Uh, one, it's not a good practice from a sustainability standpoint because they just take them out of the mailbox and throw them in the garbage. Um, but two, it also artificially fills up the mailboxes and then you end up with more students coming in. So we transition all of those, those paper flyers into digital signage. To maximize our shelf space, especially during busy seasons, it's important that we use the, the, the label and that the label be properly placed. Using the label, we can take up the minimum amount of space and still be able to see who the package is for. So when we receive a package, uh, the small items, uh, we receive them right into these tubs. So instead of it going on to the shelf and putting having a tub for the G's right. here and putting all the little things for G's, all the small items go in, but as we're receiving them in, we're telling track what tub we're putting okay. in. Got it. Which again lets us put more into a smaller space. Yeah, it's, right. it's, so, it's, this, it's, so this concept was developed here at <laughs> Lehigh. Um, they built their own system around it, work around, and then we took and actually built it into in the track. What we call a reference monitor, so okay. it's not a touch screen. Um, but if I if I've gone to the screen and I've touched it and claimed a package, but I need to reference back, was that a box or was it an envelope or what was that last name? Or I can just look up there and see the information I need. So this is our shipwright point of sale system. Uh, this is a full functioning multi-carrier shipping system and point of sale system rolled in together. So it allows us to ship UPS, FedEx, USPS, any other courier, DHL for international, etc. All of those, and we can rate shop between the, the awesome. services. So if Great. a student comes up, they place a package on the scale, they tell us where they are sending it, we type that information in, 
they're able to see that information on their the monitor on their side of the screen so they can make sure we type the address correctly so we don't have to get issues with delivery. Uh, and then it shows them all of their options on their side of the screen. FedEx, UPS, USPS, Brown, second day, next day, along with the delivery time and the cost. We actually have one of the students checking in mail. And we've received it. And now we're going to look for the package. You caught that? Tub 27? Tub 27. That was displayed on the screen and it's actually up here on the screen also. Two that are mail. Two pieces of mail? Sir. Well, my name is Michelle Hartung, and I am the, what am I? You're the site um, supervisor. Oh, I'm the site supervisor. Thank you. My name is Tina Ohl, and I'm the on-site service specialist here. Great. Diana Moyer, on-site specialist. And Rich Pearson, I am a part-time on-site specialist. <laughs> so this is the team at Lehigh. This is a great team. I just want to say thank you for letting me walk around here with a video camera. So thanks. You're welcome. Right. A huge thanks to the Lehigh University staff. Thanks for your time and your attention in answering all of our questions. This is a great example of how we're being a services-led company using people, processes, and technology to give our customers what they want and what they need. Stay tuned for the next episode of Our Connection. Thanks.